All right, welcome back, my friends, to another Work Tough Gear Wednesday. Listen, I've been waiting on this one since it came in. This is the Mountain Man, designed by Alex Aurora Borealis. Now, I'm not gonna do this heavy because it's just a heavy, heavy knife. Kydex sheath, great as always. Listen, we're gonna cut some paper real quick, and then we're just gonna chop a bunch of shit up. There's no need. Y'all see how sharp that edge is? Well, I tore that, but let's see. Right there. Right there. Now, give you a good look. Unbelievable forward cant. This thing is heavy. It's 5 16 inches thick. I just dropped that damn Kydex sheath on my toe. Here's some printer paper. Now, look, let's check the edge, guys. I mean, it's sharp as shit. I want you just to get a real good understanding of how sharp this knife is. Now, let's go. We're going to put it up against a bunch of stuff. Let's see how hard this thing will hit. We'll do our causes later in the video. I'll give you some specs. I'll see y'all down the road. Well, listen, I said I wasn't going to narrate it. I lied. You should be used to that by now. Here's the deal. I really wasn't going to narrate it. We're just checking some sharpness here. That's that two inch ratchet strap. A couple things happened. I want to talk about it. I want to give you some specs. Before we do all that, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere. 15 to 29 is the actual number. And guys, here's, here's the staggering statistic. The vast majority of those are 50 and up, okay? So all this bullshit about, oh, they're just not tough like that, that's bullshit. It's guys my age and up. Now, I'm not a vet. Never serve, wife, son, y'all know the deal. But bets are on my heart, causes are on my heart. And 22 a day or 29 or 15 or anything over zero, it's just too damn many. It's unacceptable. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. We back the blow over here. We support Leo. has nothing to do with the first calls. And it, and, and it just wears people out, okay? I'm sorry it does. I'm really not. My kid's going to be a cop. Friends that are cops. Are they all good? You know they're not. Are they all bad? You know they're not, right? Choose to support the good ones and stand for what it stands for. I don't ask anybody to support that. I do. I do. It's a personal thing. How do you do it, Scab? Well, I don't break the damn law. When I do, because I have, I accept responsibility. And there's just certain shit I'm always going to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always going to have to accept responsibility. And finally, this is important. If you are an addict, never quit quitting. Now, the Mountain Man is a monster, monster of a knife. It's 38.30 ounces. I mean, it's a hand axe. That's what this is, 38.30 ounces. And I absolutely adore it. This is about a four, four and a half inch diameter oak tree, solid as a rock. I wanted to show you something smacking on some hardwood. Now, I'm holding it up, and here in a minute, I'm going to show you how long this bitch is. Here's the thing, guys. A couple of times you've seen on the four by four post and you'll see it here in a minute if it hadn't already happened. I had a couple of pieces of deflection. Now here's the thing. The one thing that I absolute, my favorite thing about work tough gear is the handles. Is there anything different with this handle? No, I absolutely love it. The, the handle length, in fact, is five and three quarter inches long. The inner grip of four inches fits me perfectly. It's burlap canvas micarta. Here's what I found though, because I'm holding this tree up and I'm chopping. Now it hits hard, listen. The couple times that I had some deflection, I found myself doing two things. One, I was out of position, and two, I got careless. With a hand ax like this, I, I'm just gonna have to, right there, right there. And here's the thing, I'll leave it in. Y'all know, y'all know I'm not gonna take it out. I'm going to leave it in as a learning thing. Now, I know nobody else ever does that because y'all are perfect and the damn Daniel Boons of Woodery and all that, and I get it. But I'm not perfect, and I make mistakes, and I want to leave it in. What does that teach me? One, with a knife this big, whether I love it or not, comfortable or not, I'm going to put a lanyard on it, okay? It hits hard, guys. Y'all can hear the thumps right there. You can hear them on the 4x4. Four four. It blew through that 4x4. Four four. I haven't sped anything up. Now, I'm winded as hell, and about this time, a woman come walking through the woods, like to scared the shit out of me, asking me what I was doing. That's why I'm, cutting, I'm making a damn YouTube video. And then she wants to talk about it. Yep, there we go. There it is. There it is. That's, that's the way old scabbers living. Scared the shit out of me. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
I'm trying to explain it there. It gave me a little wind, gave me a break. It wasn't as much the chopping as holding the damn thing up and chopping it. The things that impressed me with this, a blade this big. Now, let's let's do some let's let's just go through it. It's 38.30 .30 ounces. Burlap canvas micarta. SK85 steel. And you can see how long that some bitch was. It is a drop point. The blade thickness is 0.287 inches. The overall length is 17.4 inches. The blade length is 11.7 inches. The cutting edge is 11 inches. Now here we're just processing some stuff up. Here's the thing. This thing hits like a damn tank. I wanted to chop all the way through this. I did do some stuff to show you the sharpness. It's a saber grind with a convex cutting edge. Now here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. This has a pretty keen edge on it. For a knife this big, it's sharp as shit. Now watch this, watch. Let's see how many wax right here. For a knife this size, it's sharp as shit. The other side is, it's got kind of a wood splitting edge in my opinion. It really does. And here's the thing. I did a short cutting of 4x4, and I cut a 4x4 for this video. I believe both were right at, if not under 30 seconds. Here's the thing. You see the bite it's getting there. We hit processed wood with the, with the pressure treated 4x4. We hit a solid oak. You see a little deflection there. And here's what happens. Here's what I honestly believe happens with me. I get a little arrogant on the swings. Right there again. So with a knife this big, I love it. I enjoy it. I wanted to leave some of the mistakes in. Now, again, I know that none of you make them, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you for not. But I like to come back and make reference to it. Here's the thing, guys. If you'll notice with me, and if you'll notice, especially with my Work Tough Gear videos, we don't pull off. We go harder. We go as hard as we can. Why? They send me knives to review. I feel like I owe it to them to beat the shit out of the knife, okay? It's not about views because God knows nobody's going to watch it, right? It's not about free knives. I work 60 hours a week. Don't need them. But I feel an obligation to test the knife for the designer, for the company, for my own integrity, and for you guys. If you're going to spend your money on this stuff, and many of you buy a lot of work tough gear, I want you to see what it can withstand with normal woods use, right? Chopping, batoning, etc. I'm a guy that's going to go a little harder. We don't abuse the thing. Y'all know that. But I want to give you as hard a look as I can. Now, we processed up a lot of wood now. And I apologize. It got a little dark right here. But I wanted to make sure we got some good batoning in. Now, this thing right here is full of knots. I'm going to show you all the knots in it. I'm going to let this run for just a minute so y'all can hear this thing hit. Y'all know I'm the world's worst batoner, son. I got aggravated as hell right there. It had a little cut in the top. I just wanted to put the blade in it. I was trying to hit it. I bet you I missed that some bitch three times. Right there, I was off to the back of it. Watching me is a, is, is a what not to do with a knife. If, if you don't learn anything, you can learn that. But there it is, finally. Now, this blade is right at 5 sixteenths thick. And son, it I've said it. It's one of my, I, I'm in love with it. I am absolutely in love with it, and I'm hell-bent on mastering it, right? Hell-bent on it. But I think what I'm going to do, too, is the next time we do some 4 by 4s or trees, I'm going to brace them. I'm going to stabilize them. I don't do that because a lot of times I want to show you, you know, hey, I'm in the woods. This is the way we are. We're swinging. But there does come a time with a knife when it has this kind of weight on it, this kind of size on it. I think we need to put a lanyard on it. I think we need to be wise in what we're doing, right? It's a beast. I love the drop point. Now, Alex from Aurora Borealis Knives, y'all heard that name a bunch because I have a lot of his knives, if not all of them, from Work Tough Gear. I absolutely love his designs because he designs knives that look like knives. Now, they're tanks. Absolute tank. I am taking this with me to Blackie's because I want him to play with it some. And I want Dakota. Dakota's going with us, and I think Bear might be there. So I want him to play with it. But the thing is this, and you see the knots there. Yes, it's pine, I get it, but it's pressure treated and it's full of knots. Y'all see that, that, that fat lighter. Now, having said going to Blackie's, here's the deal. 
Look at that thing slice. Golly, it's just a slicer machine. We'll do some other videos with it. This is one you're probably going to see at least once every couple months in a video. Because one thing with me, I don't say it a lot, but I take a lot, a lot of pride in being able to present a big knife. I take a lot of pride in being able to show the capabilities of a big knife. Not that great with small ones, novice at best on medium ones. When it comes to the larger stuff, I take a lot of pride. So I am hell-bent on mastering this knife, and it is a tank, son. I am hell-bent on learning this knife. I love the Ford Cant. I love the burlap canvas. In my opinion, it's a home run. I learned a lot from the couple hours. I started swinging this much this morning. We, we, I cut the two 4 by 4s this morning, was in the swamp for a couple hours, just have enjoyed the day. But I've learned it as I go. I've gotten more comfortable with it. Now, here's the thing. Here's the crux. Here That's a sheer fact. is the heart of the matter. You gotta like it. You really the edge and the heat treat is damn near perfection. Damn near perfection. Now, we're going to use printer paper. We're not going to use uh, phone book paper. And look right here. Let's just listen. Now, y'all know that I'm going to tear a couple of them. But the edge is still sharpened. That cut, it, whether it cut paper or not, it's still a hell of an edge on it. But for it to be paper slicing sharp is pretty damn impressive when you think of everything we cut, chopped. That oak limb was hard as a brick bat, son. But here's what I want you to remember more than anything else. More than the, I love you more than any of that. I'm scab. You're not. I'm gone, son. The mountain man. Hell, it 